Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hands, a Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. This weekend, 14 people were shot at a hookah lounge. One man died, and at least two people were in critical condition as of Saturday evening. Detectives say they believe two men started arguing during a party at Manny's Glow Ultra Lounge and Restaurant Saturday morning, and at least two guns were fired in the altercation. Police have not made any arrests and asked anyone with information to contact Metro. This is believed to be the largest shooting in Las Vegas since the 2017 Route 91 Harvest Festival shooting in which 60 people died and hundreds were injured. And in response to the invasion of Ukraine, Las Vegans took to the streets to call for an end to the fighting. No war! No war! No war! About 100 people gathered at the Lynx Promenade to protest the invasion launched last week by Russian President Vladimir Putin. A Las Vegas police officer faces burglary with a firearm and other charges. Metro Police responded to a report of a robbery at a casino on South Valley View Boulevard on Sunday. Hotel security detained 33-year-old Caleb Rogers. Police confirmed Rogers has been with the department since 2015 and is now suspended without pay pending the investigation. In more news here in Las Vegas, thousands of runners were ready to rock and roll this weekend. Sunday evening, they took to downtown and the Strip for the Rock and Roll Las Vegas Half Marathon and 10K races starting at Las Vegas Boulevard. We spoke with some runners before the big races and they talked about how exciting it was to be back. Coming to a community like Las Vegas, this is a show and rock and roll adds to that by making the event not just running, it's about music, like we have in the background. People think of it that you got to be wrong, young and fit and buff. and You don't have to be that young. You have to be somewhat fit, but uh, I'm planning on walking most of it and helping my friend get through it and just having a good time. This is the first time Rock and Roll Las Vegas has taken place since before the pandemic. And be the change you'd like to see in this world. That was the message to teens at the leadership presentation put on by the 100 black men of Las Vegas at UNLV's Student Union. Community members came together to speak at the summit for high school and college students. The, the biggest thing that uh, I'll just say as we get started today is we're going to be talking about leadership. And uh, I say this all the time, and I learned this a long time ago in life, that the first person you must lead is yourself. And it starts with me. Matter of fact, just holler it out. It starts with me. Say that to somebody. It starts with me. 100 Black Men of Las Vegas is a volunteer organization helping youth with mentorship, life skills, and financial empowerment programs. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Streak snapped. The run and rebels were unable to extend the team's win streak to four after falling 86 to 76 to Mountain West leading Boise State on Saturday night. Senior guard Bryce Hamilton's 20 second half points just couldn't lift UNLV past the Broncos, who were led by senior guard Marcus Shaver and his 27 points. The rebels fall 17 to 12 overall and host second place Wyoming on Wednesday. You know, we want to win. Uh, we were right there. We had to give ourselves a chance to beat Boise. It, and uh, we did what we needed to do to give ourselves a chance. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't, this group won't see what we did and, uh, and kind of alter or adjust or get better in the prep for Wyoming. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Major League Baseball should find out today whether the season will be delayed, but betting continues regardless of a possible shortened season. Los Angeles Angels teammates Shohei Otani and Mike Trout are plus 450 co-favorites at the Westgate Super Bowl to be named American League MVP. And Washington outfielder Juan Soto and San Diego shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. are 4-1 co-favorites for the National League MVP. Now for today's weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Monday, everyone. We're starting the week with sunny and breezy conditions and warmer temperatures. 74 degrees is forecasted for the high today. Winds from the northwest could reach around 18 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight, clear skies, lows around 46 degrees. For the rest of the week, mostly sunny skies and light winds sticking around until Wednesday. Temps will stay in the upper 70s, possibly hitting 80s by Thursday. Evening lows in the low 50s. 
Now to your health news, the drug maker Johnson & Johnson as well as three other major distributors have finalized $26 billion in settlements nationwide. These settlements are over the company's role in the opioid addiction crisis. The money is expected to go to almost all states and local governments to help combat the addiction across the country. Johnson & Johnson, Amerisource, Bergen, Cardinal Health and McKesson are all involved in the settlement. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Caesars Palace unveils its new front entrance after a multi-million dollar renovation. The new entrance also features new mosaic tiling, a statue of Caesar Augustus, and a colorful domed ceiling, welcoming guests with an iconic ancient Roman aesthetic. More plans have been announced for the resort. We can expect to see a revamped lobby bar and gaming areas soon. The regional president of Caesars Entertainment told the Review Journal these new changes will, quote, set the tone for everything we offer. Now in your lifestyle news, here's a chance for you to help improve the place we call home and help preserve its beauty. The Mint 400 is holding its sixth annual desert cleanup presented by Republic Services. Volunteers will pick up illegally dumped trash just outside of Las Vegas this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This event is free and everyone is welcome. For more information, just visit the mint400.com slash don't trash the desert. Entertainment News, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Metallica gives Las Vegas its biggest metal concert ever. Fans filled Allegiant Stadium Friday night for the band's first show in Las Vegas since 2018. A bit of history for you, when the band opened for Ozzy Osbourne at Thomas & Mack Arena, tickets were only $14.50. Last week's nosebleed seats were around $200 on Ticketmaster. And a new passport takes you through Nevada's craft beverage establishments. The Nevada Craft Beverage Passport features more than 30 locations across the state. Stamps for the 2022 passport can be collected right up until December 31st. The more stamps, the bigger the prize you have a chance of winning at the end of the year. Find participating locations and get your passport at agri.nv.gov slash passport. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.